Hi, I'm Paul Steinbrook. Welcome to OurChurch.com's monthly SEO update for April 2015, keeping you up to date on what's happening in the world of search and how it affects you. Well, the big news continues to be about the mobile-friendly update Google will be releasing April 21st. We've got more details about that to come, but before we get to it, let's talk about some other significant news in the world of search. First, Bing Places adds a multi-site tool. Bing has added several new features to the admin for Bing Places, its local search tool. One of the new features is the ability to manage multiple locations. While this feature is primarily intended to help franchise or chain businesses that have multiple locations, it's also very helpful for multi-site churches, which are becoming more and more common. So if you have a multi-site church or business, you'll want to make use of this new tool at Bing. Second, could Yahoo be planning a split from Bing? Well, for the last several years, Yahoo has essentially outsourced its search to Microsoft's Bing search engine. But recently, some people have reported seeing Yahoo's mobile search results without the Powered by Bing logo in the footer of the search results page, leading to rumors of a breakup. When asked, a Yahoo spokesperson gave a typical non-answer, saying they are, quote, always experimenting and looking to improve the experience of our users. Yes, thank you for letting us know that. Well, it's worth noting that current Yahoo CEO, Marissa Meyer, who inherited the current deal with Microsoft from the former CEO, has been openly critical of that deal. And the two companies recently agreed to extend this agreement by a mere 30 days, which has also fueled some speculation that Yahoo is preparing to launch its own independent search engine once again. Will it happen? We'll just have to wait and see. Third, Google creates a new uh, web interface for mobile searches. Google has rolled out a new interface for mobile searches, which displays a more compact version of its search results. Google Maps, Knowledge Graph, and Organic listing, uh, listings are all included in the search results, making it easier for users to find what they're looking for. While this is not directly related to the mobile-friendly algorithm change we'll be talking about in just a minute, it does make sense that Google would be making aesthetic changes to improve the layout and user-friendliness of their mobile search tools at the same time they're preparing to update the mobile search results. And that leads us to our fourth and final, the largest granddaddy of them all update uh, that you've all been waiting for, Google's big mobile-friendly update, which is coming April 21st. April 21st, April 21st. Yes, you should know that by now, right? All right. Well, in last month's SEO update, I talked uh, quite a bit about this uh, upcoming mobile-friendly algorithm update. But since then, a lot of additional details have come out. Now first, um, just in case you missed the big news, on April 21st, Google will be penalizing websites in its mobile search results that it does not consider to be mobile friendly. This means for someone searching on a phone or tablet, websites that are not mobile friendly will be further down in the search results compared to where they are today. How far down? Well, we'll have to wait until April 21st to see. Now, Google has said there will not be degrees of mobile friendliness. It will classify each web page as either mobile friendly or not based on a test they've created. You can test your site using the link provided below this video. So, if you haven't tested your website to see if it's mobile friendly yet, it's important that you do that as soon as possible. Another thing to note, unlike other Google penalties, Google issues for things like buying links, uh, which sometimes take weeks or even months for Google to remove, Google says its mobile-friendly algorithm is live updating. That means if your website is not mobile-friendly on April 21st and it does get penalized, that penalty will go away as soon as you do make your site mobile-friendly. That's great news if you don't make the April 21 deadline, but of course it's still better to get your website mobile-friendly before then so you don't experience a drop in the search rankings. Keep in mind that today about half of all searches and about half of all website page views are done on mobile devices. So having a mobile friendly website is extremely important. Okay? All right. 
Well, we'll continue to monitor and blog about news related to this big Google mobile-friendly update up to and beyond the April 21 release. That's all for this month's update. Remember, we live in this Internet age, so it's important that you stay strong in the search engines so you can achieve your mission online. We here at OurChurch.com are here to help you do that, so if we can answer any questions for you or do anything else to help you improve your search engine rankings or achieve your mission online, please give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.